Stevie scored two goals again at the weekend, but didn't turn it into a victory. How important is it that when you are scoring goals, when you are playing well, you do win these games? Yeah, I think I don't think that's been a problem this season in terms of creating chances and, and causing opposition teams problems. I think it's been a mixture of yep, not being clinical enough and then like we highlighted and it's obvious to see the Hearts game, the goals we concede are, are very cheap. So yeah, it's a it's a poor combination for our point. We know we still believe we had enough in that game, especially the way it played out to win the game. So yeah, I mean it's still quite recent, so yeah, it's it's a game we're still disappointed from. We'll learn from we'll learn from and, and we'll be better for it. Another big game though coming up against Celtic tomorrow. How are you feeling ahead of it? How confident are you yourself or the team? Yeah, it's a tough game again. Similar, I mean, I don't think I'm going to pretty much say anything here that's going to surprise you. It's a tough game. Um, it's important that we go into the, the World Cup break, you know, as positive as possible. It's a game that, you know, like every other game, we're going to do the best we can to try and win the game. I mean, that's that's clear. That's the same as every game we've approached this season and, and that won't be any different tomorrow. You've played Celtic twice already this season. One game really close where they just edged it and then one game where they ran away with it. How do you ensure that it's the former, not the latter? Um, it's, yeah, it's up to us to, to come out with a game plan to, to try and you know, cause them as many problems as we can. I mean, the second game, yeah, ended up it ended up convincing from their point of view. But up until a certain point, we watched it back. I've watched it back. Um, up until the second goal, we're competitive. We were. After that, obviously, the the changes they make, especially in the game, gives them another dimension and another level. If it's not going their way as well, um, we conceded again at poor times in that game. Um, and then the second goal kind of deflated, deflated us, and then they kind of you know, they took over for there. But up until that point, it was it was good. There was good things in it. There was good moments within that. Um, but again, we'll need to be individually. We'll need to be very good. We'll need to be strong. Like like you know that's obvious. That's clear. Um, and as a team, as a, as a group, we'll need to be. We'll need to have a good game. Even the the people coming off the bench, the staff, everyone involved, will need to. will need to do well tomorrow for us to to get a positive result. How do you stop Celtic? Is it about stopping them, or is it about you playing the best you've played this season, scoring goals? What what, what is it? Um, I think. Yes, you, you need to be good. You need to be almost perfect on the day. You need to you hope the luck goes your way, decisions go your way. Um, you, you have players playing to the, as close to the maximum as possible. I mean, it's obviously difficult, but but again, it's not it's not something that we're, we're shying away from. We're, you know, we're, we're not we're not afraid to go and play and try and implement our style onto the game. That's always going to happen. So, yeah, it's as difficult as it gets, but. You know, it's it's no problem. It's not it's not something we're overly concerned about. It's what we do on the game, um, in the day, in the game, and then, like I said, hoping that we've got we've got players playing as close to the maximum as they possibly can. Is there a greater emphasis though when you were working on training on trying to stop them being more cautious because of the nature of the way Celtic play? Yeah, like as I said, it's clear they've got a lot of players that can hurt you. Their styles different. Their styles. It's good. It's it's. Um, it's, they're obviously a well coached and well drilled team with a lot of, lot of quality, a lot of options, a lot of numbers. You know they can make six, seven changes comfortably and still be equally strong. So it's something they've got at their disposal, at their disposal that helps the level of the player that they have is is high. But again, I don't really want to be overly emphasising on them. Yes, of course we need to be aware of their their threats, which they have a lot of. Like every week, um, just maybe emphasised a little bit more. We've not had the week's prep to to focus fully on it with the game at the weekend, um, but we're fully aware of them. Like you say, we've played them twice this week, uh, this season. We know we're aware of what they've got, but again, that's that's no different for, for any other week. A few weeks ago, you were a, a frustrated manager that you didn't have a fit Louis Malt available. He's been in and said that he feels he's a a better, more all-round player. Um, is it time for him to continue to step up to the plate and maybe pose a threat to Celtic? Um, it's it's been it's been quite frustrating with Louis. Yeah, we understand he's you know he's yeah I agree with him when he says he's got you know he's he's all round games improved and he's he's a he's an all round player. He's someone we need. We also need to manage him. He's he's somebody that we need to be careful with in terms of three three games in a week, uh, three games in six days. With especially with his, you know the lack of work he's done building up to this, which we would have liked to have been a little bit more. But I think even when you seen him in the Hearts game. Um, what he brought, he brought good energy to us. I think he gave us a lift and impact. He, he helped the team round about him. So it, it was a good impact. And yeah, nobody nobody wants to see him out in that grass more than myself. I can tell. I can assure you that. You're a positive manager. So do you feel as if you've spotted weaknesses in that Celtic side of the team? They got that. 
Yeah, I think so. And that's that's consistent with every week. We look at the opposition, we see we see where we feel we can hurt them. Yeah, it's it's, it's maybe a little bit more difficult to find goals and uh, weaknesses and places to expose them. Um, you know, it's a team that's playing the Champions League this season. Um, but yeah, I think we have in the, in the games we've played, there's been good moments within those games. Um, they may become around few and far between in terms of the other opposition you play on a weekly basis but again it's a challenge we should be embracing it should be something we're looking forward to and you know really really maybe taking the energy the, fr the frustration of the weekend and hopefully putting that into a, a positive performance again tomorrow How do you view the, the table and where you are at the moment and your ambitions because some would say it's a free hit tomorrow night against Celtic but there are teams not too far away from you at the bottom end yeah, I think I think this season it's been it's been frustrating at times with some good results, with some very good results, and then not quite followed that up. Like last week, we 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 win at United. You know, our way form's quite good. Um, we go to Hearts, hoping to win the game, looking to win the game. I think the way it played out, I think we should have. Um, so that's it. We kind of get to there, and then we drop again. So it's not following that up. Yeah, we're aware that where we want to be, a win against Hearts would have put us pretty much where we want to be in the league, but we also need to be aware, yep, yeah, before the, the World Cup, it's important that we put um, some performances and get some points on the board. And yeah, the fixtures recently have been have been difficult, there's no getting away for that, but with the personnel we're missing as well, um, you know, that's pretty much emphasised the Louis one with, with Joe Efford being injured as well. You know, we're asking the same players to continually do the, the same jobs for us. So it's been it's been frustrating. It's we want to be a little bit better than where we are just now, of course. We always want to be better. So if we can get to the World Cup um round about where we are, if not better, then we can kind of use that as a reset and, and organise ourselves and take it for there. And just as an aside, you're very much in the embryonic stage of your management and you've gone through all these emotions of good results, bad results. Have you have you been able to lean on maybe other managers, someone that's been able to say, you know, this might happen, that might happen, to give you that little touch of experience? Um, no, I've, I've got a good support staff round about me. I've got a good good family, good base. You know, I've got good staff in here. You know, it's, it's, it's disappointing when we lose games. Of course, that's that's never going to change. Even if I'm in this game till I'm sixty, it's, that's never going to change. I'm, you know, losing games is going to be frustrating, especially the way it played out the other night. Winning's great. You know, it seems to be like, yep, you win, you enjoy it for less time, and then you just concentrate on the. On the next game, when you lose, obviously it still it still hurts, and you don't. It's not a good feeling, but yeah, we want to minimise that for sure as much as possible. Just go back to Louis, his impact off the off the bench on Sunday give you a real kind of encouragement, even if it's maybe for longer term, because he, he obviously hasn't trained much. He's been a bit of an issue, and he wanted to look very sharp, didn't he? Yeah, he looked good. He made an impact, and it's no surprise. It's, it's no surprise. He's a good player. That's why he's here. He's also here for for the season. He's not just here for the short term in the next two or three games. He's here for the full season. We need to be careful with him. We manage it. It's not like we've got Louis plus five or six different options. You know that's not the case. We're very very short in that that area of the pitch. So we need to be careful what we do. Like I said, we've got other players, especially Joe, who's been a, a big miss for us. So then it's it's so important. It's vital that we we manage this this period and the players, the personnel we've got carefully. One of the, the positives of Sunday, the second goal was is that the kind of, kind of football that you when you're, you're wanting your team to play and, and kind of coming to fruition on that point. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good goal. It's a it's a great goal we've scored. I mean, we've scored a few goals like that this season. I think I think that's what we want to see more of is is the scrappy goals. You know, every goal we scored, we need to work really really hard for our chances. We need more of the scrappy goals. Even when we we were up at Ross County and we won, a, we scored a few goals. Where everything seemed to click that night. The goals, the tap-ins, the scrappy ones were the goals that that, that I enjoyed the most because I feel like that's the ones that doesn't need to be the perfect goal. Um, every week, uh, we can add those scrappy ones and you know take advantage of those scenarios better. Then great, but yeah, I agree with you, the goal that Blair scores is it's a fantastic goal from us. But again, ultimately, we should then continue and take that one to, at the very, very least get a point. Is the when you say you need to manage Louis carefully? Is it because you, you're treating him with kid gloves with the injury that he has? Yeah, I think it's clear. He's the, the last few seasons he's not played as much as he wants to. He's, he's even the last few weeks he's not trained as much as we'd, we'd have liked. So yes, yeah, it's, it's similar to any player in that scenario. We need to be careful with it, careful with the load, the amount of minutes we're, we're watching his, his data every day and seeing where he's at and just managing that and how he feels and 
yeah, not overexposing them to too much, but also yeah, being fully aware that we need them and we want them on the pitch. You played against some good players in your time. Is there somebody specific in that Celtic side that you feel as if has been the main danger that's always a worry to you? No, they've 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 got they've got threats all over the park. I mean, it's a, it's an opposition. I feel like when you go in as a manager and the coach and you you want to improve the players that's already there. Yes, they've recruited well and they've changed the style a bit, but I've also feel like the players that were there, most of them have already have, um, also improved as well. So I think that's a good sign of what they're doing in in house there again. But yeah, they, they, there's there's numerous areas of the pitches they can you, they can hurt you from, but. Again, it's it's how we combat that, and it's how we we bring the best version of us to the game. Yeah, just one for me. What's what's the team news for tomorrow night? Yeah, it'll be pretty similar. Unfortunately, Paul McGinn's got a bad one as well, which is a is a is going to be a big loss for us as well. He's been excellent for us this season. He got a scan yesterday, and we'll probably find out exactly where he's at just uh, this morning with that. So yeah, that unfortunately that's another one that's that's um, that's been disappointing. That will will make us a little bit weaker as well. A big chance for Stephen O'Donnell obviously had to be patient. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Steve, he's, you know, he's been he's been excellent for us. He's, the only reason he's not been playing is because of how well Paul McGinn's been playing. That's pretty much it. I mean, you could argue our two or two fullbacks have been really, really consistent. They've been two of our best performers this season. So that's that's not a problem. That's not an issue.